Hello guys, welcome back to Tell We How channel on YouTube. So in this video, I am going to explain a little bit about the power that we are using with our phone right now. So a lot of people have have asking inside Google or any other social media or even asking their friend, family, teacher whether it is good or not to use the phone with a power bank or even a different charger that is not come up with a box from their with, with their original phone. For example, the first one I'm going to talk about is the power bank. So is it good or not to use the power bank? Well, it's depend on the power bank side of battery. It's depend on the output of the voltage the, the voltage output and the volt the, the, the mm -hmm. amp intensity of the phone of the power bank. For example, in this case, this power bank is actually, uh, let me see its output. It is a 5 volt, and out, it's output with fi the, the 5 volt voltage output and 1 amp, 1 amp intensity. So, you asking me that is it good or not to use this 5 volt voltage with 1 amp intensity to charge your phone? Well, my answer would be if you are using an iPhone 5 or 5S, 5C, this might be good for you. But if you are using any other smartphone, like today's smartphone that is support fast charging, the chipset from like Snapdragon, something like that, that's a, that support fast charging around 4 amp intensity like that, I think this power bank might damage your phone. Why is it happening? Why is it damaging? Because the phone that you are using right now is support only, it supported amp intensity. The voltage is not different. The voltage is also 5 voltage output, but amp intensity actually is different. For example, like the OnePlus 5T smartphone, OnePlus 5T smartphone is actually supported 5 volt voltage with 4 amp intensity. So if you're using the OnePlus 5T to charge with this power bank, well actually it might damage your phone or if you have a 4 amp 4 amp intensity power bank and charge it with OnePlus 5T it might have caused any prob it, it might not cause any problem at, at all but if you use the 5 volt voltage with 4 amp power bank to charge your iPhone 5 or any smartphone that is support only with normal charge not any fast charging with only 1 amp intensity that actually really damage your phone so the idea that people keep saying that power bank is actually is actually damage your phone well in some case it's true but in some case where both both things support each other it's not gonna happen it's not gonna damage your phone so it's the same power source but just different amp intensity and that amp intensity is all it takes to make a difference and causing a damage so we are now clear for the power bank part so let's go into charger part so it's the same as a power bank for example this one is Xiaomi from Xiaomi Redmi it's actually a 2 amp intensity and Xiaomi in here I have the Xiaomi 5 plus so in here with Xiaomi Redmi 5 plus charger 2 amp intensity it support each other because the chip inside the chipset inside the Redmi 5 Plus is support a 2 amp power supply. So, for example, if it took around two, if it took around one hour and a half to charge it from zero capacity from, from zero percent to 100 percent capacity, but if you change this charger to other type of charger, for example, like the iPhone it's a 5 volt voltage the same voltage but 1 amp intensity so different intensity this is 1 amp and this is for 2 amp it will actually damage your phone as well because the support intensity is different and also if you take this one to charge your OnePlus 5T smartphone it actually damage it maybe a little damage I think but by time by time it will be actually cause a big problem for your phone you know 
I used to experience once with my iPhone 5 is that I don't really actually care about what type of charger but at that time when I was at home because right now I'm not in I'm not at home I'm in abroad in China I have to do my pursue my study so when I'm home I try to use different charger with my phone and charge it regularly especially with an even bigger amp intensity and the result from that is that I got my iPhone battery start to you know extend even bigger and pop up the screen on my iPhone so that is a real real problem and it caused major damage to your phone and to solve that problem I just go and change the battery out and then I'm not going to charge it with any you know unsupported charger anymore and also you have to pick up the one that is considered as an original Bose charger and the phone must be supported each other for some case like the connector actually the connector don't really cause any damages well if it is not a you know that if it is not actually a origin an original connector this like this is it's not a original connector from the company or from your phone out of the box well it doesn't cause any problem because the connector itself don't actually pose a threat it might pose a threat for some you know not the original one but in only a minority threat but to the charger it really poses a great great damage it really a major threat so this is all my explanation about both charger and power bank and I hope you guys learn a lot from this video and also want to tell you guys to never use an unsupported stuff especially related to electrical with your device on both smartphone or computer it work the same it stand on the same principle so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank a lot for your watching and I also looking forward for your subscribe so click subscribe in order to get even more upcoming amazing video and thank you for watching again and bye for now